McGill Construction is a leading general contractor in Canada that uses DroneLink to fly weekly automated missions on construction sites across the country. Drone data is processed into high-resolution maps and 3D models and is shared online between all team members, improving project management processes and quality control. Their internal drone program consists of over 15 pilots, personnel that are already on-site, flying sub-249 gram DJI mini-series drones. Being able to automate micro-drones with DroneLink was critical. It enabled McGill to expand the drone program easily due to less strict regulations, lower costs, safer operations on active sites, and easy deployment and pilot onboarding. McGill has several missions per project, as you can see for this site. These include a standard weekly progress monitoring mission, a quick five-photo progress mission, a pre-concrete slab pour mission, and sometimes video or high-quality 3D modeling missions. Within the multi-user DroneLink account, any mission plan that is created can be accessed, run, or edited by other users. Missions are often created by the BIM team at the start of the project, and pilots execute them while on site. From the Missions tab, flights can also be tracked to help manage operations, ensuring captured data is processed and available to the project teams. For each mission plan, a history of flights is tracked, including information such as the pilot, time flown, drone used, and more. This mission plan has been flown and processed over 60 times since the project started. Let's take a closer look at several mission plans and explore some of the other features that McGill uses. For this standard mission, a Nader grid map is flown first, followed by a spiral capturing interval photos for better 3D modeling of structures. The orbit component is modified to fly two rotations, increasing the radius using a negative 45 degree gimbal pitch. Weekly flights are kept simple to be quick to fly and process. Mission previews help newly onboarded pilots understand what the drone will do before the first flights. In the field, the pilot starts the mission and lets it run autonomously while monitoring progress. The standard mission plan is usually under a single battery. After the flight completes, the pilot uploads the data, which is processed in PIX4D and made visible as a new capture in the project timeline to all the team members. Designs can be overlaid on the high-resolution map for project management. Two captures can be compared side by side. Various measurements can be made and compared between captures. McGill has many projects in downtown environments, which are more complex to fly safely. For these sites, restriction zones are added for increased safety, a drone league feature to define custom no-fly zones. Let's switch the mission planner to expert mode and open the simulator from the settings to see how the restriction zone behaves. Restriction zones apply to automated flight only and are useful when resuming missions around obstacles. Pause the mission along the waypoint path, move the virtual drone to a takeoff location, and lower the altitude. When we select play, the resume path will show and fly around the restriction zone to the last location. With the mission planner set to expert mode, a restriction zone can be added by right-clicking on the map. Define the shape and set the min and max altitude. Adjust the restriction zone boundary around the obstacles with some safety buffer. Let's review this mission plan. A Nader crosshatch map mission is flown, followed by a multi-waypoint path at a lower altitude, taking interval photos, focused at several points of interest. A 360-degree rotation takes interval photos at the last waypoint, followed by another waypoint path capturing video. In the mission preview, the drone ascends to the mapping altitude and flies the crosshatch mapping pattern. After the map, the drone drops altitude to fly the waypoint path, which you can see in the timeline below. Next, the 360-degree rotation is flown at the last waypoint, followed by another waypoint path. At a different construction site, 
A similar mission plan is used that captures a high-resolution map and oblique photos in an orbit for 3D modeling. The standard mission plan is customized to capture the access road using an additional waypoint path taking Nader photos. Check out DroneLink's growth plan to scale a multi-pilot drone program with micro-drones.